On a cold weekend in Mobile, Alabama, hundreds of volunteers came from around the country to build an oyster reef. The event was a first for the 100-1000 Restore Coastal Alabama, a partnership between the Nature Conservancy, the Alabama Coastal Foundation, Mobile Baykeepers, and the Ocean Foundation. This marks the beginning of an ambitious effort to restore Alabama's Gulf Coast. It's going to be pretty chilly, but I think moving in and out of that mine will keep me plenty warm. <laughs> I'm here helping out trying to rebuild the coral reef and for the future seafood industry. I've never worked with oyster reefs before, so it should be exciting. So our goal here is to start at the very end. Get those reefs down there first. Beautiful. Have you ever seen anything like this? This is amazing. This is these are people who care about their natural resources. They care about their community. We are building uh, 250 meters of living shoreline right behind me. So we just had a guy come in and he came over Dog River Bridge and he said, come in over the bridge, it looks like there's an army out there. And I said, there is an army out there. I just think the partnering project put this reef back together as an example of what we can do to save the Gulf is totally and absolutely amazing. There's no way this was going to happen without me being a part of it. We've been out all morning. It is muddy. It's wet, but it's very satisfying. We've been doing some manual labor and feeling really good about it. Sucked my boots off a couple of times, but it's really uh, pretty deep mud, but uh, really cool. By the end of the weekend, 545 volunteers donated more than 2,000 hours and hauled 16,000 bags of oyster shells to build the reef. We made a huge difference today. We did something that's going to last way beyond any of us will ever uh, see. Our grandchildren and great-grandchildren will know we made this impact today. It was a very powerful experience for all of us, and we worked really hard. We loved every minute of it.